Okay, so um, I don't mean to be overly dramatic here, but um, the world is really messed up. And I think it's a reality that often doesn't get uh, communicated, especially in short video clips like this where everything's supposed to be quite cheery. But actually, um, as someone who's studied and thought through a good bit of Christian philosophy, uh, Christian philosophy and theology, uh, there's something about the world that's really fallen. And we all know this from the doctrine of the fall, you know, Genesis 3, what have you. But there's really a sense in which because, of, because that's true, because the world is messed up and it isn't the way it sh should be, I believe in a very realist view of the fall and therefore a very realist view of human emotions that respond to fallenness. And I think it's actually good that we as Christians give ourselves permission to just be upset at things that happen in a way that they shouldn't happen. To have frustration and to experience frustration, to, to grieve over something, to mourn, to lament. Of course, all of this is in the Psalms, but for some reason in contemporary Christianity, especially within evangelicalism, we don't give ourselves the space or the permission to just mourn and to be frustrated and to just say that sometimes this world just looks a lot more like hell than it does what perhaps heaven would be. So I just wanted to share this. And I'm sharing this for two reasons. Um, the first reason is really I, uh, partly because of this notion I've talked about before in another video, which is reification. Again, that's just a fancy term. Just means you take the word race in Latin, uh, like race publica, which is the public thing. So the public thing, race, is just means thing. And again, in English, we would just but literally, we would translate it by saying thingify. It's just to make it into a thing. And the reason I'm having this talk about giving ourselves permission to be frustrated at the world is because if I weren't to do this ever in the span of, say, 20 short videos like this, I would have reified this belief that all of Christianity is cheerfulness, and it's not. Uh, I just have to remind myself this and also give my college students permission that go to the, a Christian college and all my friends who would ever care to see this video. I actually do think we need to give ourselves permission to just be frustrated at things that are just fallen. The second reason I guess I'm talking about this is because of a book I've been recently reading uh, by Nicholas Wolterstorff, who's a great philosopher who happens to be a devoted evangelical. But Nicholas Wolterstorff taught at Yale for many years, it's now at Virginia, he, he writes in his book called Hearing the Call about John Calvin. And Calvin actually was a realist theologian as well. He saw what Augustine said where Augustine felt bad for mourning his mother's death because, well, that's not a Christian thing to do, put bluntly. Um, Calvin says no, there actually is a real role for lament and mourning and grieving the fallenness of our world. Um, and so, off reading that book, I, I just wanted to share this little thought that I've had um, from, from recent experiences, but also from Walter Storff's book. And the last thing I want to say is not just reification. I don't want to reify the wrong thing and give a more realist uh, view of Christianity. But the second thing is, at the end of the day, there is redemption. God will take what I think are perfect plans to, you know, to do great in the, things in the world and, and serve the church and all the rest. And even though those plans get thwarted, God is orchestrating something much better or perhaps prohibiting something that could have been worse. And so there is redemption. God is redemptively working through my life and your life and all our lives, just like he worked through the life of Joseph when he was sold by his own brothers. And so at the end of the day, yes, there's frustration and let's be real with it. Let's feel it. It's okay to feel frustrated at things. But let's also recognize at the end of the day, God is still sovereign and there is redemption happening even in the midst of our frustrations. But I just want to give that little um, encouragement, actually, for us to feel frustrated, but also feel comforted at the same time. <music>